We're back here on the John 4K Show. One of our John 4K specials this week, a 2017 Ford Fusion SE. You pay $24,895 or $21,395. You can't find a better deal on a 2017 Ford Fusion SE. Again, $24,895 or $21,395 right here at Veterans Ford. We're back here on the John 4K Show. Mike to tell you along with John 4K. John, Tampa Bay coming in uh, this weekend. You are on the road. Game's been moved to a 3 o'clock yep. game uh, because of the fact the Bucks uh, have gotten a, a little hot lately. And uh, the Saints have won the last four meetings at Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay is a red-hot football team now, 7-5. and five. Uh, I'll kind of tip off my deal off the bat. I think the Saints win in Tampa. The Bucks have been a bad home team. I can't explain why. Similar to another team that I, I do a lot of work with, with the Titans, they play much better on the road than they do at home, but it's the first time this young team has walked down that football aisle feeling a little bit of pressure mm -hmm. of, of being in the contender mode. They were pretenders before. Now they're actually in that spot to be in a position to possibly win the NFC South. Jameis Winston has had his moments where he's hot and cold, but I think he's always going to be like that. He's yeah. never going to be a consistent guy. Defensively, they played much better the last three weeks, and I think that's been the key to their success. Well, I don't know where you've been two weeks ago when Seattle walked in there and they spanked Seattle. I believe they played a home game, and that's what scares me because I think the, they're playing for a position for the playoff. Look, they're tied for first place. Atlanta's 75. They're 75, and they play uh, the, the Saints two, two, two times, so we can see what happens there. And I know you said you're picking the Saints. I'm, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to give it early, but. I think Tampa Bay wins this ball game because of the fact that they did win at home against Seattle. They went on the road and won. They beat Kansas, Kansas City. City. That was a big game. Uh, it just goes to show you, they got something going there now. What Winston shows up, the one that's going to That's the scary it up part. Well, I tell me. you what, who can stop Michael <clears throat> Evans? That's the thing. And their defense has played really, really well for them right now. So, uh, it, it's what Saints shows up for us. You know, what, what, what do we got? We can't that, throw our hat on anything that, saying that the, we're, we're a road team. because That's the NFL almost. It, yeah. It's crazy how this league is all shuffled. Bring up Mike Evans. Mike's probably the hottest wide receiver in the National Football League today. I'll say this. I saw Delvin Bro. They got, he got picked on a lot he did against Detroit. Yep. Similar situation to what Demarius Thomas went after. They went after him when he was one-on-one -on -one with Demarius. Man, listen, if I see Delvin Bro, and he's not 100% healthy, uh, so I, I don't, I don't want to put everything on him. But going up against Mike Evans, a six foot five and a half receiver, uh, John, they don't have any six foot five cornerbacks in this, or barely six foot cornerbacks in this league. You can see the mismatch again, which Jameis Winston shows, shows up, up because he's had a tendency in the past when he feels a little bit of pressure to do a little bit too much, puts the ball up for grabs. Well, the thing about Jameis Winston, when he played against Seattle, he didn't light it up in Seattle. They won defensively. Defensively, they got some turnovers. They did some things. It was a low scoring game. Uh, Winston didn't show up in that football game, but the team played well enough. So they're figuring, look, you know, just it's sort of like don't turn the ball over. Keep us in this football game. Be a, a like a like a manager of the game. I get you know people quarterbacks hate that, but if you can just manage the game for us and not have to be the guy that's got to throw forty something times and try to throw five touchdowns, but you got Evans on one side and they can run the ball pretty good. You're playing against the Saints defense that it's like you said they're bending but not breaking, giving up a lot of field goals. But we can't score points in the first half against anybody, so that's the problem that the Saints are having. If we can come out and score points in the first half, that'll keep them off balance, but we haven't seen that. The other thing, too, is four games straight in Tampa Bay you've won. It's a, it's a strange series. Mm -hmm. Sean has dominated a lot in the NFC South other than one team, Carolina. Carolina. Uh, they, they've kind of had his number, but he's been pretty good uh, when you go up against Atlanta and Tampa Bay. Uh, how Atlanta and Tampa Bay now handles the pressure – of late season, you on top, but you look at Atlanta's schedule down the stretch. Uh, I mean, you know, San Francisco, uh, the Rams. Rams. Uh, I mean, if you're hoping that they're going to hit a tripwire somewhere, you, you better hope somebody can upset this team. And the thing you're talking about with Atlanta, and we can sit here and say they're 75, could easily, be easily be 10, nine wins. Nine or 10 wins right now because the Seattle game probably could have won. San Diego game. Kansas was City. Kansas City. I mean, what what way to lose against Saints? Don't want to lose a game on a two point block kick, field goal, whatever you want to call it, extra point, and whatever it may be. That's how you lose a football game. So this team is good. Atlanta, and they're a good football club, but they find ways to lose. It ain't they find ways to win, they find ways to lose. 
Tampa Bay is at that point where you hit the nail on the head a couple uh, a couple of uh, comments ago, and you said they're in this position now. They're tied in first place. Can they sustain that and see what Atlanta? But Atlanta's got the easiest schedule. They play two cupcakes in the West, and then you never know what the last game of the season might. Will it mean anything to play against the Saints in the last game of the season, or will it mean nothing for Atlanta? We're going to go to the power rankings in the National Football League and uh, a little bit of switch over from uh, last week on those power rankings. But right off the bat, that hasn't switched. The Cowboys, number one with 11 and one record. Again, John, they rolling it yes. up. Uh, the Patriots at the two spot, 10 and two. The Raiders, we'll talk a little bit about a little bit later at the three spot. Seattle, after Tampa Bay spanked them, they come back and man, did they huge, huge win Sunday night. The Chiefs at the fifth spot, Broncos six, a Lions at the seventh spot. The Ravens with a huge, huge mm -hmm. win this past weekend at eight. Watch the Steelers at seven and five, a very talented offensive team. And again, the Giants uh, at the 10th spot, eight and four. Uh, the Steelers took care of business against the Giants, and the score didn't indicate how dominant they were. Dominated. I think down the stretch, there's always a team that gets hot in December. Don't be surprised that if it's the Steelers. I mean, they, they have the material to do it. They have some huge firepower on offense. And playing uh, better than average, you might want to say, on the defensive side of the football. Well, they're in a the conference right now. It's either them or Baltimore. We right. know that. But Baltimore goes to New England this weekend. Mm. Man, I, you know, I don't see them winning in New England. Uh, we all picked Pittsburgh to be in that running for that division right. before the season began. And they kind of yeah, moped around a little bit. But they're starting to get themselves together. It's what's killing them is on the defensive side of the football. If Pittsburgh ever got their defense tightened down a little bit, you might want to worry about them. But that, that, that conference or that division right there is going to be up and grabs between them and Baltimore. And we'll see what comes down. I'd hate to have to be playing in, in Pittsburgh at the end of the season with the weather condition you can get. But they can pound the ball. They got a really good quarterback. They got receivers. Uh, it's going to be a toss-up. It's about the When you talk about the Giants, Granted, there ain't, ain't many teams you can have in the top ten. They have to go in there. So that's one of the worst top ten teams with eight and four record. They don't do they anything. They have nothing great. offensively. They got a pretty decent defense. They <laughs> lost uh, 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 Paul Jones, uh, uh, Pierre. Pierre, for the rest of the season. He, he's out with a hernia injury. Uh, but I don't. It's like a team that you know, Bodell still yapping and, and blaming everybody else. But hey, they got no running nothing. game. Can't run the ball. But I tell you what, team that surprised me, and they'll be playing football tonight, is that Kansas City Chiefs team. Watch them. It's going to be a good football game tonight you know, with them against Oakland. Uh, you know, they, those two guys battling and it out they've with them. Not, they've been the team dominant right. against the Raiders just have not figured out a way to beat Kansas City. This Jack Del Rio, I think if you gave out uh, coach the of coach year. of the year right now, and, and there's a lot of candidates that oh, you yeah. can look at. Certainly even, you got to say Bill Belichick maybe has done as good a job as anyone, especially four games without Brady, now without Gronk down the stretch. But what Andy Reid has done and what mm -hmm. Del Rio has done in the AFC West, remarkable. And, and, the, and the funny thing about you say AFC West, there's a team that went to the Super Bowl last year. They better watch out. They might not get into the playoffs because they're struggling a little bit in their quarterback scenario, and that's the Denver Broncos. They, they're struggling with their quarterback. Uh, they still got their good defense. They're not running the football well. You know, could they be the ones that might get knocked out of the playoff scenario because of the two teams ahead of them, Kansas City and Oakland, pretty much have the advantage over Denver. Uh, that's going to be a tight race coming down the stretch because you got the Miami Dolphins, you got Baltimore, you got Pittsburgh. They're all fighting to see who can get only two two wild card teams. That, that's difficult. Not like it is in the NFC where, man, you some of those teams, who it is. you know exactly who right. will get in there. We'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford.